Hey guys, this is Brett from the Online LED Store. Today, I'll be talking about our 6 and 10-way LED illuminated blade fuse boxes. Now, before getting into specifics about these fantastic products, I'd like to take a minute to explain what fuse boxes are and why they're important to the safe operation of your vehicle. Fuse boxes are safety devices designed to prevent a power overload or short. Set between the power source and each output, the metal blade inside a fuse box pops when an overload or short happens. This prevents any hazard from occurring while you're operating your vehicle. During the next few minutes, you will learn the advantages of the online LED store fuse boxes, some general tips on installing electrical components, and instructions for installing these products. Okay, let's get started. Both fuse box models are interchangeable with power source ranging from 10 to 32 volt DC. Compact and rugged, the LED illuminated red indicator light allows you to quickly diagnose which fuse has popped. The fuse panel on both fuse boxes is fitted with a quarter inch stud for power feed. The unit's quarter inch male quick disconnect terminals can handle 30 amp per circuit with a maximum of 100 amp per panel. Both fuse boxes are equipped with a clear cover for additional protection. So let's review some basic guidelines for installing electrical components in automobiles. Always disconnect the electrical battery before installing either a fuse box or any other electrical components. It's a good idea to check the owner's manual as well. Some vehicles may require additional steps before installing electrical components. Taking the time to check the manual can prevent you from losing radio memory or other computer learned values. When installing a fuse box, keep the power cable as short as possible. Try to avoid touching any metal or ground connection of the car whenever possible. If a car is in a collision where there is metal next to your power wire, you risk having the metal pinch into the power wire. Remember that exposure to water can damage most electrical components. If you are driving across rivers, streams, or along roads where water and mud are common, make sure you place the fuse box in a waterproof location. And before getting started, make sure you find out the correct amp draw of your output equipment. Keep your wiring clean during installation and try to avoid leaving the wire exposed for any extended period. Okay, so let's get on with the fuse box installation procedures. I'm going to put on a couple of LED off-road spotlights and I'm going to fuse them using a 10-way fuse box. Always mount the fuse box on a flat surface. When drilling into metal surface, use self-tapping screws. Even if you know where you want to position the fuse box, it's a good idea to mark the place where you're going to drill. Drilling small pilot holes at first will make the self-tapping screws go in more easily, but that's optional. Once the fuse box is mounted securely, connect the light bar's power wire to one of the output terminals on the fuse box. I recommend using insulated terminals and make sure the terminal is the right size. Now reconnect your car's battery and then connect the power wire from your fuse box to it. It's important that you do this step in this order because you wouldn't want a loose wire coming out from your battery's power. Now insert the appropriate blade fuse and turn on your equipment. This lets you know if the equipment is working and that the installation was done correctly. If the fuse blows, it's due to two things. Either you need a fuse with a higher ampage rating or there's probably a short somewhere in your installation. The 6 and 10 way ATC ATO LED illuminated blade fuse boxes provide unmatched protection against shorts and power failures. As you can see, they're easy to install and taking the time to install them properly protects you against power failures and other electrical problems during your travels. I'm Brett from the online LED store. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time.